let's say for this trick, I hand the deck over to the spectator, and they give it a nice little shuffle. After they're done, I would have the spectator take out any four cards they would like, just like this. Look at those cards and remember them. So, they could write them down if they wanted. So here are your four cards. Go ahead and remember these by taking a screenshot, pausing the video, and writing them down, whatever you would like. After this, I would take back the four cards and say, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to place each of these cards somewhere into the deck, and you're going to see them that they really are in the deck, just like this. And we're going to give these a little mix up, just like this. So now, if we look through the deck, you can see that all the cards are still face down, so nothing happened yet. But all I have to do is give the deck four cuts because you selected four cards. So one, two, three, four. Let's see if I can find each of your four cards. So the first thing I'm going to do is give the deck a little shuffle, just like this. And all you have to do is just say yes or no as to whether the cards I show you is one of your cards. So let me show you what I mean. Is the Three of Diamonds one of your selections? I would assume you would say no, and I would ask, how about the Ace of Diamonds? And I would assume you would say no still. So then I would say, okay, maybe if I give this a cut, I can get one of your cards. The Ace of Hearts? Maybe. Let's try this again. So I'm going to give this a little shuffle. Is the King of Hearts one of your selections? No. How about the Three of Diamonds? No. Okay. Let's give this a cut as well. And we should get the Queen of Hearts. Let's try this again and see what we can get. So if I give this a little shuffle, we have the Nine of Hearts. That's not one of your cards. How about the King of Hearts? No. Okay. And in this case, I got the Five of Spades. Let's try this one more time and see what we can get. Shuffle this up, and we have the Two of Clubs. Is that your card? No? Okay. All I'm going to do is put down the two, snap my fingers, and I can show you the eight of clubs. Hopefully, those were your four cards. If you want to learn how to do this trick, make sure to stick around for the tutorial. Alright, so here's how you're going to do this. Now, for most of the moves used in this routine, I have already taught, so I'm going to link everything down in the description so you can check it out. So those moves I link, I'm not going to teach, but for the moves that I haven't taught at all or that in depth, you'll see what I mean. I will teach you. So without further ado, let's get into this. So this is a very nice trick using one or more cards. You don't have to use four cards, but this is how I taught the control. So here's what you're going to do. Going to have the decks shuffled up, and you're going to have four cards. Now, it doesn't matter what four cards. You just want these to be remembered. So in this case, let's go with the... We have the two black threes. Let's take out the other threes while we're at it. Just to make this easier on ourselves. And the other three. Let me go ahead and get my notepad up. Just so I know what I'm going to link in the description here. Okay, perfect. 
So once you have your, your four selections, you're going to do this nice multiple card control using the Hindu Shuffle, which I taught in my last video. I taught the Hindu Shuffle, and I taught the control. So I'm not going to go over it in this video, but I will show you exposed what it looks like. So you're going to place each of your three somewhere into the deck like this. And you want about an equal amount of cards in between each of the selections. After this, you're going to lower your hand. You're going to squeeze onto these selections while the front cards fall down. After you do this, you're going to be able to pull out the four selections with these face down cards, okay, covering it. And then you can do your Hindu shuffle just like this. And those three selections, those four selections, my band, to the bottom. If you want to learn that, check out the last video, which I will link. After this, I spread through the cards and I show that they're all different. Oh, or actually, they're all face down. And when I get to the bottom, I'm going to make sure I can see the bottom five cards. I'm going to go ahead and put my fingers on this fifth card right here. And when I square this up, I'm going to lift up on that fifth card. I'm going to be able to put my pinky in there and obtain a pinky break. So now when I <clears throat> lift up the deck, you're going to have your four selections right there. Let me go over this one more time. I also taught this in my last video as well. So a lot of this I have already taught. So you're going to spread to the bottom of the deck, saying whatever you would like. Look at the bottom five cards and make sure you're... I do my middle finger because that's the longest finger out of my four. Uh, out of my index ring and pinky, my middle's the longest. So that's able to touch the fifth card like this. And then I'm going to lift up while putting everything together to square up going to put my pinky in there, and now I'm going to obtain a pinky break, okay? After this, I'm going to move into thumb break, so I'm right here. going to come over, come right into thumb break, and do a swing cut. So this whole action of shuffling the deck, moving them to the bottom, which is what it does, and then cutting them to the top, I already taught. So in case you're unfamiliar with this, Check the description. I'm going to cut about half for a swing cut, which I also have a separate tutorial on as well. And I also taught in the last video as well. So I'm going to link the swing cut down below. So we have swing cut. And let me put... Okay, perfect. So we're going to swing cut. And while doing this, we're going to line up both halves. You can either let go with your thumb and then put your pinky in. Or what you can do is you can line these up, okay, and then put your pinky in. Just want to watch your angles on all sides. And then I did a table cut four times for four selections. So one, two, three, and then this packet goes on top for four. So, all of that I actually taught. So, I'm going to go through that one more time, but in normal speed. Just so you can see what this looks like. And to make things easier, I will leave them face up. So, we have your four selections in here. We actually can go ahead and show them that they're in here. And then we will go ahead and give these a nice little mix. And then I can show you all of the cards are face down, meaning that shuffle did nothing. And then we're going to go ahead swing cut, line up the break, and then you're going to go ahead and table cut. As much as you would like, it doesn't matter. And now they're on top. So here's the move where I'm actually going to start going in depth. I do have a video on the riffle shuffle, so I will link that down below. There's one thing you're going to want to do. So for the hand, when you start riffle shuffling, you're going to know whatever hand you riffle the cards off of, that hand is going to have the four selections. So when you shuffle here, 
that hand that has the four selections, you're going to want to make sure that those block of cards can go on top. So the four selections. Then for the opposite hand, you're going to want one more card. And that's going to be the whole secret. So I'm going to go over this again. We know my right hand might be left hand in, from your perspective. But for me is my right hand. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to make sure my left hand drops all the cards except one. And then that right hand can finish off the shuffle, put in those four selections on top, and then I can go ahead and riffle off that one more card, which is a cover card, and I can finish the shuffle just like that. So if I do this in real time, it's going to look like this. Now, it might be a little difficult at first, but with enough practice, you will be able to do it. And now here's the sequence you're going to do. You're going to go ahead and there's a few things you can do. I like to show it like this and then put it back on top. That might be a little weird. So something you can do in place of that is you can swing cut, show the top card and ask, is that yours? But when you do this, make sure you don't spread off too many cards because there are selections underneath. The swing cut, is this your card? No? Okay. So then I'm going to put this hand down and pull it back and obtain a pinky break. And then I can turn over my bottom half and ask, is this your selection? No. After this, you're going to put this packet on top, maintaining the pinky break. And then I'm going to switch over into thumb break, just like this, which I've gone over multiple times. Put the deck down, okay? And then I'm just going to lift up on the break and then cut and complete the cut, making it look like an actual cut just like that. So I'm going to go over that one swing cut part, and then I'm going to go over this whole sequence just so you can see how this looks. So is this your card? No. Okay. Is this your card? No. And you will see I already have the break. So then I put these on top. I come on. I come over and do thumb break, and then I just lift up on the break, I cut, finish the cut, and then I turn over and I show the three. And then you can set it down. So let me do that in real time, and then we can move on with the trick. So I'm going to see here if I can find at least one of your selections. So all you have to do is just say yes or no as to whether or not those cards I show you is your selection. So something like that would be the pattern. So is the four of, <clears throat> is the four of diamonds your selection? No. How about the nine of spades? No. Okay. If I give it one cut, we should have one card, and that is the three of hearts. So that's the whole sequence. That's all you're going to do for the first. I do it for the first three cards. Now, you could do it for all four, but I think repetition might be a little, might be a little boring, if I'm being honest. So, I'm going to do that again. So when I shuffle, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle off from the left hand, keeping back one card, and then the right hand, I can put those four selections down, drop that one cover card, and then I can do the bridge. And now I can do the same thing. Is this one of your cards? No. Is this one of your cards? No. I'm going to obtain that break, and then I can cut at it. This would be moved to the bottom, and then we have the three. So let me go over that one more time. So right here. Is this one of your selections? No. How about the ten? No. Okay. Cut. Cut. And we get the three. And then I do it one more time. Now you could do it for all four threes if you really wanted. But here's what I did. So is this your selection? No. How about the five? No. Now if you wanted to here, you could just do a straight table cut. But I like to do the three cuts like this. Makes it look like you actually cut to their card. You show the three that way. For the last three, all I do is a shuffle, but I keep it on top, okay? 
And then I do a double lift, which I have a video for as well. This is a strike double. It's really hard to do at first because you need to be good at striking two cards. But once you get it, it's really nice to do. And I also have a video on the Shin Limb Double Lift, which I will link down below if you're more of a beginner. So this is Strike Double. Strike Double. Shin Limb Double. Okay, and I'm not going to go over these moves because they would take too long. And I already have a video on them as well. So here's what this would look like. You would shuffle, keeping that three on top if you wanted to. Do false cuss, false shuffles, whatever. And then I do a double lift. Is the four your card? No. I put down the three. And then you can do whatever you want. And then you can turn over the three just like that. Keep in mind, though, you have that four on top. So that's what the whole routine actually looks like. I'm going to do that one more time, but in real time, just so you can see what it looks like. And then that's going to be the video. So in this case, we're going to have the, the four threes. I'm going to do this face down, because now you know what to look out for. Keep in mind, though, mine probably doesn't look the best. But hopefully you will practice and make yours look better than mine. So we're going to go ahead and lose these cards somewhere into the middle of the deck, just like this. And now, as you can see, none of the cards here are actually face up. So that's going to make my job harder in order to find your four selections. So because you have four selections... I'm going to cut the deck four times, and let's start. So the first thing I'm going to do is give the deck a little shuffle like this, and all you have to do is just answer yes or no based on the question. So, was the Ace of Spades one of your selections? No. How about the Ten of Hearts? No. Okay. Well, if I give it a cut, we have the three of clubs. Let's go over that again. So we're going to give this a little shuffle, and all you have to do is just say yes or no. Is the queen of clubs one of your selections? No. How about the ace of spades? No. Okay. And we have the three of spades. Let's try this again. We give this a little shuffle. And is the, let's see here, four of spades your selection? No. How about the queen of clubs? No. Okay. We have the three of diamonds. And let's try this one more time. Give this one more shuffle. And in this case, we have the two of hearts. Is that your selection? No. What was it? The three of hearts? I snap, and we have the three of hearts. So, that's what the whole routine should look like. Two things I want to go over real quick, and then that's it for the video. I actually noticed when I did the performance this time around, the two things I want to go over. The first thing is, when I asked, is this your selection? I noticed I pushed over the second card slightly. That could be a big mistake, because if the spectator sees that, and then they're going to know their card is second, and they're going to call you out. So something I did to avoid that the other times is when I swing cut, and right when I'm about to push over, okay, so I have my thumb to push over, I take my middle ring and pinky, and I clamp those over the deck. And then if I push with the right... uh pressure, if that makes sense, or at the right point, you're just going to push over that top card. So if we have the eight of hearts and the jack of spades, let's say we want to hide the eight of hearts, I swing cut it over, right when I'm going to push over the jack with my thumb, I take my fingers and I move them up a little, okay, onto the side of the deck here, and I just 
you know, pull them over, and then I can push over the jack. Play around with it. It's actually easier than it sounds. And the last thing is when you do the ripple shuffle, okay? So we know, let's say we have the nine of hearts here, okay? So is the queen of spades yours? No. I have my break. I come over and I cut it. And then I am have the nine of hearts right here. The queen is on the bottom. And I'm going to ask, is the queen your card again? Something I might do before I show you the next card is when I do my shuffle, I want to know which side the queen is on. So then for the opposite side, I can put down a few cards, shuffle, and then end with that nine on top. Losing their queen in the middle. So then I can show a different card each time. And you can keep on doing that. Make it different cards. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know what you think about this trick. What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you thought about the two, uh, the two different videos. The first video for the slice and the next video for the tutorial and performance. Should I keep it like this? Should I put it in one video? Let me know what you think. Don't forget to check the description down below, the description box for all these tutorials and videos. I think that's it from me. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you next week with some more videos. Bye.